Your day just got a whole lot better. You're listening to the Mutual Audio Drama Network. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance recommended. Time to warm up those interstellar audio transponders and blast off. Three, two, one. Beyond the farthest star with today's atom powered episode of. Rip Jarvis of the Space Today. The further continuing exploits of Ace Space Today. Rip Jarvis and his robot buddy, CPD Duda, in the 94th century. Today's episode, Chapter 451 A Day in the Life. Our story so far, after having saved the known galaxy from destruction time and time again, Rip Jarvis and his chrome colleague ZPD Duda have a day off. What does a space cadet do when there are no wrongs to right? Let's listen as Rip says... We're really in it this time, Duda. Yes, Rip, that's definitely a sand trap. You'll never get par on this hole. This is so boring... I hate having no intergalactic evil to fight. Now, Rip, you know what Major Misadventure said. Quote, You've got to take some time off. Relax and stay out of trouble. Unquote. Trouble is my middle name. I thought that your middle name was Rupert. But I don't know what to do with myself. We could watch a hologram film. I've got some real Hollywood classics in my file. Hmm? Like what? We could watch your favorite Rocky movie. Rocky 12, where Rocky meets Bullwinkle. Or Rocky 16, where Rocky meets E.T. You alien. (laughs) Uh, Do we have any monster movies? What about the one where Godzilla plays John Crawford? You mean Mothra, dearest? Nah, maybe something funny. That would be a change for us. Oh, wait, here's that early one. When Eddie Murphy met Flipper. Oh, Beverly Hills Carp. I saw it, just for the halibut. They didn't even get paid scale, because it was considered an act of cod. You really are bored. Fish puns, for gosh sakes. We'll be back to Rip Jarvis after this. Kids, have you always wanted a career in radio? Really? Of course not. You want to be TV stars and movie stars and corporate raiders and sports stars and plastic surgeons while we slave away in front of these cold microphones. But somebody's got to do it. Those rock stars couldn't be multi-millionaires if no one played their songs on the radios and those stations couldn't stay on the air if nobody made and sold those irritating advertisements they play constantly between those records and that stuff that passes for the news don't even get me started about that. I know who really needs a vacation. Mr. Announcer, would you like to talk about it? No, Duda. I'll be fine. It's it's just (laughs) sometimes... (laughs) Uh, And now, uh, back to Rip Jarvis. Uh, Help me get him some coffee, Duda. Now, as you'll remember from last time, uh, what were we doing? Not a darn thing. (laughs) Radio! (laughs) That's about all of it for today, Space Cadets. Keep your eyes up, your thoughts clean, and your power cells charged. And tune in next time. Wait, that's my job. You sure you're up to it? If it's radio, I can do it. Well, much older Cadet, it's all yours. But first, I have to say something. Have to? It's in my contract. Do it, Duda. What do we do now, Rip? Will Rip and Duda get in terrible trouble next time? Will anything of import happen? Will the universe stand on the brink of destruction? Will they be picked up by the TV? (laughs) Tune in next time. Same time, same radio station for episode 42. A real honest-to-gosh episode on Rip Jarvis of the Space Cadets. Hi, folks, and thanks to whoever listened to the Rip Jarvis shows. You know, back when Rachel Cobb and Joshua Upshaw and Bob Reeder and I started these back in the 80s, they were going to be a a five-minute-a-day radio show, kind of like the old Chicken Man show. And when nobody was buying anything new for radio, we put the first five episodes on one of my albums, and, and then it sort of sat there. And then finally, just recently, 
Victor Aurelius and the great folks at, at 4077 decided that it might make a good uh, internet show. So we finished those 25 episodes we had written back then, a little rewriting. Uh, and uh, I've just been thrilled as heck to, to share them with you. I hope you've enjoyed them. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Victor Aurelius uh, for the 4077 Thought Better Audio Productions. And I just wanted to say that I had a blast doing these episodes to do a classic sci-fi comedy series that was, you know, basically based in like the 40s and 50s style sci-fi uh, that was written in the 80s. And then we finally bring it back in 2016. We started this in October 2016. And uh, the, the original five episodes and then these. Now we had 25 total episodes of R.I.P. And this has been a wonderful experience. I just want to personally thank Wayne for bringing this project to us and asking us if we'd be interested in doing it. And uh, thank you so very much, Wayne. And also to Rachel Cobb. She has been wonderful through this whole thing, uh, doing zippity doo da again. <laughs> it's been a blast chatting with her and working with her as well. Um, absolutely loved working with the cast. Everybody was so talented. And a big thank you to Peter Heimsoth for bringing Rip Jarvis back to life. Thank you. And now I'm just going to pass it over to Jeff Niles. Why, thank you, Victor. Yes, this is Jeff Niles of the 4077th, and I would like to uh, say what a blast and a pleasure it has been to listen to the fabulous Rip Jarvis. And I want to thank uh, the three creators of this soul series, uh, C. Wayne Owens, uh, Rachel Cobb, and Joshua Upshaw for inventing this craziness. I have never before heard so much action and humor packed in five little minutes. So uh, thank you, Victor, for putting it all together and finding uh, the series from Wayne. And uh, I want to thank uh, the cast and all the people that worked on it. And I especially want to thank my good old friend uh, Peter Heimsel for taking over the part of Rip Jarvis. So I hope everybody, I hope all our fabulous... Um, Space Cadets have enjoyed the series, and thank you all for listening to Rip Jarvis, and hope to see you back here again for other adventures from our other series. Thanks. Bye now. Hey, Billy, why do you look so down? Aw, oh, Dad, I got a computer, a PlayStation, and a barn full of iguanas, and I'm still bored. <sighs> Gee, Billy, when I was your age, I would read lots of stories in pulp magazines. Oh, with stories of weird adventure and fantasy, horror, satire, and lots of action. Wow, that sounds great, Dad. Yeah, I sure wish there was something like that right now. <laughs> there is Daddy-O! Who are you? I'm Dr. Mary Von Roxbrocket, host of the Twisted Pulp Radio Hour. And now there's... Yeah? Twisted Pulp Magazine! <laughs> What's that, Doctor? Why, it is a return to greatness! Available on all your digital devices! That is what it is! Look! Whoa! Dad, this looks awesome! Exciting and, dare I say it, very unwholesome. You definitely have that right, my good man. Ha <laughs> ha! Thanks, Dr. Mary. My pleasure, Billy. And just between you and me, I am not sure that this man is really your father. Bye. Dad? Uh, uh just read your Twisted Pulp magazine, Billy. Twisted Pulp magazine, available in dark alleyways behind meth labs everywhere or at digitalvaudeville.com that is d-i-g-i-t-a-l-v-a-u-d-e-v-i-l-l-e dot com 